Ready? Okay. <coughs> okay. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, translation and commentary by Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Madhya chapter 16, Lord's attempt to go to Vrindavan. Okay, text 150. Dui Raja Patra Jai Prabhu Sange Jai Jajapur Ashi Prabhu Tare Dile Nabhidai when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his party arrived at Yajapur, the Lord asked the two government of officers who had come with him to return. Prabhu Bidai Dila Raya Jai Tarasane Krishna Kata Ramananda Sane Ratri Dine. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bade farewell to the officers, and Rai Ramananda continued on with the Lord. The Lord talked to Rai Ramananda Rai about Sri Krishna day and night. Pratigrame Raja Agyaya Raja Brityagan Nabya Grihe Nanadrabye Koraye Sevan. In each and every village, in compliance with the king's order, government officers constructed new houses and filled each of them with stocks of grain. Thus they served the Lord. E Matachali Prabhu Rimuna Aila Tata Hoite Ramananda Rai Bidai Dila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu finally arrived at Ramuna, where he bade farewell to Sri Ramananda Rai. Bumete Padila Rai Nahika Chaitan Rai Kole Kore Prabhu Koraye Krandan. When Ramananda Roy fell to the ground and lost consciousness, Mahaprabhu took him in his arms and began to cry. So here it says, Kole Kori, Rai Kole Kori. So, my understanding is when it says Kole Kori, it means taking him in his arms. Lap. Sometimes it says lap, but I don't think it's because he, it says, it was Mahaprabhu was dancing with Haridas Thakur and it uses the word Kole. So I don't think it's lap, I think it's arms. Okay, but anyway. Bumite Padila Rai, Nahika Chaitan Raya Kole Kore Prabhu Koraye Krandan. When Ramananda Roy fell to the ground and lost consciousness, Mahaprabhu took him up, took him in his arms and began to cry. Rayar Bidai Baba Najai Sahan Kohite Na Pariye Tahara Barnan. Mahaprabhu's feelings of separation from Ramananda Roy are very difficult to describe. Indeed, it is almost intolerable to do so, and therefore I cannot describe them further. Tabe Odra Desha Sima Prabhu Chaliaila Tataraj Adhikari Prabhu Remilila. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu finally arrived at the border of the state of Orissa, a government officer came there to meet him. Dina Dui Chari Teho Korila Seban Age Chandi Bare Se Kohe Bibaran. For two to four days, the government officer served the Lord. He also gave the Lord detailed information of what was ahead. Madhyapa Javana Raja Age Adikar Tarabaye Pate Keho Nari Chalibar. He informed the Lord that the territory ahead was ruled by a Muslim governor who was a drunkard. Out of fear of this king, no one could walk the road freely. Pichalada Parjantasab Tara Adikar Tarabayin Narike Ho Hoite Naripar. The jurisdiction of the Muslim government extended up to Pichalada. Due to fear of the Muslims, no one would cross the river. During the old days, Pichalada was part of Tamaluka, Tamaluka and Bengal. Pichalada is located about 14 miles south of Tamaluka. The river Rupa Narayan is well known in Tamaluka, and, and Pichalada was situated on the bank of the Rupa Narayan River. Dinakata Rahasandi Koritarasani Tavisuke Nokate Koraiba Gamane. You know where is this Rup Narayan River? We find it while going from Calcutta to Kharagpur, no? On the way we find it. Okay. Maharaj 
Pratraparudra's government officer further informed Mahaprabhu that he should stay at the Rissa border for some days so that a peaceful agreement could be negotiated with the Muslim governor. And that way the Lord would be able to cross the river peacefully in a boat. Se kale se javanera ek anuchar udia katake aila kori vishantar at that time, a follower of the Muslim governor arrived at the Arisic encampment dressed and disguised. So Mahaprabhu said he was going to Bengal because he wanted to see uh, Janani and Chanavi. He wanted to see his mother and he wanted to see the Ganga. And Mahaprabhu, when he was going to go to Vrindavan, when he first come to Shantipur. Then his mother asked him to, not to go to Vrindavan so far away, but to stay in, in uh, Nilanchal in Puri. So Mahaprabhu agreed, but also now he's going to Vrindavan, so he wants to inform his mother and maybe even take permission from her that he will go to Vrindavan. So he says, I'm going to see Janani and Chanavi. So that for this reason also, he's crossing through Orissa, going across the Rup Narayan uh, River, and he's going that way, and he'll eventually come to uh, where the, you know, where, near where Raghunath Das Goswami was, and also, uh, you know, when, uh, where Raghunath, where Raghunath Das Goswami's place, his, uh, where they have Chir Choi. Uh, they have that festival of Panihati. Panihati. So they come near there. Se kale se javanera ek anuchar udiya kateke aila kori vishantar. At that time, a follower of the Muslim governor arrived at the Arisa encampment dressed in disguise. Prabhura se arabhuta charitra dekiya hindu chara kohe se javana pashagiya ek sanyasi aila jagannath hoite aneka siddha purusha hoi tahara sahite. The Muslim spy saw the wonderful characteristics of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when he returned to the Muslim governor, he told him, a mendicant has come from Jagannath Puri with many liberated persons. Now that, that servant of the Muslim governor, he came there, he's a Muslim, and he came disguised as a Hindu. Mm -hmm. So he came there disguised and he's seen what's going on and he sees that Mahaprabhu's there with many persons. Who he says uh, mm -hmm. Mahaprabhu is like a Siddha Purush and he's surrounded by so many persons sing singing. Nirantara Kori Sabe Krishna Sangatan Sabe Hase Nache Gai Koraye Krandan, all these saintly people incessantly chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and they all laugh, dance, chant, and cry. They're all doing Krishna Sankirtan. They're, so they're laughing, dancing, chanting, and crying. Laka Laka Lok Aise Taha Deki Bare Tare Deki Punarapi Jaite Narigare. Many millions upon millions of people come to see him, and after they see him, they cannot return home. Se sab lo koi molera prai krishna kohi nache kande gadagade jai. All these people become like madmen. They simply, they simply chant the holy name of Krishna and dance. Sometimes they even cry and roll on the ground. So this is what the Muslim, Muslim servant of the, of the Muslim, the Muslim telling the Muslim his servant. Kahibare katanahe dekile sejani tahara prabhave tare ishwara koremani. Actually, things cannot even be described. One can understand them only by seeing. Considering his influence, I accept him as, he says, I accept him as ishwara. I accept him as the Lord himself. This is what the Muslim, the Muslim who came in disguise said. Ette kohe se char hari krishna gai hase kande nache gai bolera prai. After saying this, the messenger began to chant the holy names of Hari and Krishna. He also began to laugh and cry, dance and sing, exactly like a madman. 
So that Muslim servant describing Mahaprabhu, then he's also chanting Krishna and Hari, and he's also acting like a madman. So, eta shuni javanera mana firigela apana vishvasa udiya stane pataila. When the Muslim governor heard this, his mind changed. He then sent his secretary to the representative, the representative of the recent government. So this is the Muslim governor who's a drunkard and causing much trouble for, the, for all the Hindus. But now he hears about Mahaprabhu from his servant who tells him, I think he's Ishwar and all these people are lab cannot go home after seeing him. They're all dancing and chanting and then he begins dancing and chanting. Vishwasa siya prabhu charana bandila krishna krishna kohe premi vibhula hoila. The Muslim secretary came to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he offered his respects to the Lord's lotus feet and uttered the holy name of the Lord, Krishna Krishna. He was also, he also was overwhelmed with ecstatic love. He also become overcome with Krishna Prem, the Muslim servant. Darya hoya uri jake kohe namaskori. Tomastane Patahila Mulecha Adikari. After calming down, the Muslim secretary offered his respects and informed the representative of the Arisan government. The Muslim governor has sent me here. Tumijari Agyadeho Etake Asiya Javana Adikari Jai Prabhu Kemilia. If you agree, the Muslim governor will come here to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then return. Bahut utkanta tara koryache binoi tomasane e sandi nahi juda juda boy. The Muslim governor is very eager and he has submitted this petition with great respect. It is a proposal for peace. You need not fear that we will fight. Shunima patra kohe haya bishmoi majapa javanana chitta aiche ke korai. Upon hearing the proposal, the representative of the Arisa governor, government, the Mahapatra, was very much astonished. He thought, the Muslim governor is a drunkard who has changed his mind. Apane Mahaprabhu Tara Mana Firaila Darshan Smarane Jara Jagat Tarila. It must be Mahaprabhu himself who has changed the Muslim's mind due to his presence and even due to his remembrance, the whole world is liberated. Eta boli bishvas sere kohila bachan bhagyatara ashi karu prabhu darshan. After thinking this, the Mahapatra immediately informed the Muslim secretary, it is a great fortune for your governor. Let him come visit Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Pratita kora ye jadi nirastra haya Ashibeka Panchashat Vritya Sangilaya. However, let me make it understood that he should come here without weapons. He may bring with him five to seven servants. Vishvas Jana Tahare Sakala Kohila Hindu Beish Darije Hindu Beish Darise Javana Aila. The secretary returned to the Muslim governor and informed him of this news. Dressing himself like a Hindu, the Muslim governor then came to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Dura hoite prabhu deke bumete padiya dandabat kori ashru pulakita hoya. Upon seeing Mahaprabhu from a distant place, the Muslim governor fell to the ground and offered obeisances. Tears came to his eyes and he was jubilant with ecstatic emotions. Mahapatra Anilatari Koriya Saman Jodahate Prabhu Age Loi Krishnanam. Arriving in that way, the Muslim governor was respectfully brought before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by the Mahapatra. The governor then stood before the Lord with folded hands and he chanted the holy name of Krishna. Adama Javana Kule. Kena Jan Mahoila, Bidi More Hindu Kule, Kena Na Jan Maila. The governor then submissively asked, Why was I born in a Muslim family? This is considered a low birth. Why didn't Supreme Providence grant me a birth in a Hindu family? Hindu Hoile Paitama 
tomara chananas sanidan vyartamora edeho joka paran. If I had taken birth in a Hindu family, it would have been easy for me to remain near your lotus feet. Since my body is now useless, let me die immediately. Eta shunima patra vishtahoya prabhuke gonana stuti charane dariya. Upon hearing the governor's submissive statement, the Mahapatra was overwhelmed with joy. He clasped the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu and began to offer the following prayers. Chandala Pavitra Jara Shrin Nam Shravane Hena Tomar E Jiva Pila Darshane. Simply by hearing your holy, holy name, a Chandala, the lowest of men can be purified. Now this conditioned soul has received your personal darshan. Ihara J A Gati Ite Ki Vishmoy Tomara Darshana Prabhava Hematahoy. It is no wonder that this Muslim governor has attained such results. Simply by seeing you, all this is possible. Yanamadeya Shravana Nukirtanad Yat Prabhanad Yat Smaranad Apikwachit Swadopi Sadya Savanaya Kalpate Kuta Punaste Bhagavan Nudarshanat who say nothing of the spiritual advancement of persons who see the Supreme Person face to face. Even a person born in a family of dog eaters becomes immediately eligible to perform Vedic sacrifices if he once utters the holy name of the Supreme Lord or chants about him, hears about his pastimes, offers him obeisances, or even remembers him. So they're talking about Chandala. So apparently even in that time in India, there were people who would eat dogs. And that was considered a very low birth. Yeah, and in India there's no, no great respect given to dogs. But here in, in the West, dogs are very, you know, like treated very like kings. Very <laughs> uh, Srila Acharya Maharaj was talking about when they built the Burma Setu Bridge in Navadi going across the Ganga. And many Chinese came to build that bridge, and he said all the dogs in Navadi had disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, when I was staying in Hong Kong, they said they said there was some so in Hong Kong they said there's some problem sometimes because he said both the British and the Chinese, they are both dog lovers, but in different ways. Tabe ma prabhu tari kripa drishti kori ashpasiya kohetumi koha krishna hari. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then glanced with mercy at the Muslim governor, giving him assurance. He asked him to chant the holy names Krishna and Hari. Say kohe more jade koila angikar ek agya deho seva kori che tomar. The Muslim governor then said, Since you have so kindly accepted me, please give me some orders so that I can render you some service. So, what, you know, what seva can I do? He's asking. Go brahmana vaishnave himsa kori jachi apar. Say pap hoite mor hauk nistar. The Muslim governor then prayed for liberation from the unlimited sinful reactions he had previously incurred by being envious of Brahmins and Vaishnavas and killing cows. Tabe mukundadata kohe shuna mahashai ganga tira jaite ma prabur manahoi. Mukundadata then told the Muslim governor, My dear sir, please hear, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wishes to go to the bank of the Ganges. Tahan jaite koratumi sahai prakar e bora agya e bora upakar. Please give him all assurance so that he can go there. This is your first great order. And if you can comply, you will render a great service. Tabe se ma prabhu chanan chanana bandia sabar chanana bande chale rishtahaya. After this, the Muslim governor offered 
prayers to the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and to the lotus feet of all the devotees. Then the governor departed. Indeed, he was very pleased. Mahapatratara sane koila kolakuli aneka som samagri diya korila mitali. Before the governor left, the Mahapatra embraced him and offered him many gifts. He thus established a friendship with him. Pratakali se bahu nauk sajana prabhu ke anite dila vishvas pataya. The next morning, the governor sent his secretary with many nicely decorated boats to bring Ma Prabhu to the other side of the river. Ma Patra Chaliaila, Mahaprabhu Sane, Mulecha Asi, Koila Prabhu, Chanana Bandane. The Mahapatra crossed the river with Ma Prabhu, and when they reached the other shore, the Muslim governor personally received the Lord and worshipped his lotus feet. Navina Nauka Ek Navanya Nauka Taramadyegar Swagane Chadaila Prabhu Tahara Upar. One of the boats had been newly constructed and it had a room in the middle. It was on this boat that they put Mahaprabhu and his associates. Mahapatra Mahaprabhu Korila Vidai Kandite Kandite Se Tire Rahichai. Finally, Mahaprabhu bade farewell to the Mahapatra standing on the river bank and looking at the boat. The Mahapatra began to cry. Jaladashubhaye se javana chalila dashanoka bari bahu shainya sangenila. The Muslim governor then personally accompanied Mahaprabhu. Because of pirates, the governor took ten boats full of many soldiers. Mantreshwara Dushtanare Parakoraila Pichala Pichalda Pichalda Parjanta Se Javana Aila. The Muslim governor accompanied Mahaprabhu past Mantreshwar. The place was very dangerous due to pirates. He took the Lord to a place called Pichalda, which was near Mantreshwar. Tare vidai dila prabhu se grama hoite se kale tara prema chastana parivarnite. Finally, Ma Prabhu bade the governor farewell. The intense ecstatic love exhibited by the governor cannot be described. Sri Chaitanya Ma Prabhu bade farewell to the Muslim governor at, at Bijalda. Krishna Das Kaviraj here in states that the governor experienced symptoms of ecstatic love due to being separated from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These symptoms, he admits, cannot be described. So the Muslim governor was changed. At first he was known as a drunkard and causing trouble, but then, you know, he was so transformed by, by Ma, association from Mahaprabhu that he even had prayed that, why couldn't I have taken birth in a Hindu family so that I could be near Mahaprabhu and I would have been able to be near you. So these sentiments are very unusual, very strong sentiments. Normally, no Muslim will speak like that. But well, uh, this position is good. What? If, the, if one one is taking birth in the family of Hindu, and he is close to Mahaprabhu somehow, and one is taking birth in Muslim family, but he's praying that I'm not taking birth in Hindu family. I'm not close. So which position is good to be in? I don't know, it's very unusual. Maybe better to take <laughs> birth in a Hindu family because if you express like that, you take birth in a Muslim family and express like that, they'll kill you. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I think being in the Muslim family, he's anchoring so much. You know, well, yeah, but Haridas Thakur and then this Muslim governor. But or, ordinarily, if a Muslim tries to change his faith from Muslim to Hindu, then, that, then they consider that's punishable by death. So, you know, it may be good in that in this circumstance to take birth, but you know, even even the Haridas Thakur, they wanted to kill him. They beating him. They wanted to kill Haridas Thakur because he become they said they said to Haridas Thakur, you take birth in a Muslim fa family, why you become why have you like this, chanting all his time Hare Krishna and acting like a Hindu? And 
And Haridas Thakur said, well, you are converting many Hindus to become Muslims by the sword, by force. And he says, so if one, one small, only one Hindu becomes a, one Muslim becomes a Hindu, what is the problem for you? You are converting so many Hindus to Muslim. If one, one Muslim becomes a Hindu, why you are so much concerned? But they considered, oh, this is very big offense, and they tried to kill Haridas Thakur when he said that. And they, they told that he is giving a setting a very bad example because following his example, the Muslims will become against us. What? Because he is giving a very bad logic for the Muslims. That if one Muslim becomes a Hindu, what is the problem? It's a very bad logic, and the punishment must be very heavy. Yeah, so you can see. <laughs> but also, even now, if if someone's born Muslim, he becomes a Hindu. Then, then they will punish him. That is, they they will put no freedom. What? No freedom. No freedom, or they will kill him. Yes. But who, who? Haridas the court. Patan, Patan Vaishnav. Huh? Patan, Patan Vaishnav. Vaishnav and, and, okay, so uh, what, when other one of the Goswamis who was born in a Muslim family besides Haridas the court? Huh? Uh, Goswami Rup Sanatana are there. So they, were, they, were yeah, they were born in a Muslim family. No, they were born in a Muslim family. They were born in Saraswat no, Brahmin family. But they worked for Muslim government. They work for they Muslim work become Muslim. and they become like Muslim and they're named Dabir Ka Sakar Malik. Yeah, maybe that's why is that, uh, what's his name, Subodhi Rai, he, he became, they converted him to become Muslim by making him, throwing some water from a Muslim pitcher on him, saying, now you're a Muslim. Then he go, but the the, Muslim, the Hindus were very crazy then. Then yeah. Subodhi Roy, he went to, he went to, he went back to the Hindus and he said, you know, they only took some water from some pitcher that Muslim had drunk out of. Said, now you are Muslim. So then they're considering that's all, and they're considering him Muslim. And he says, how I can, what I can do now? And then the Hindus told him, oh, you can drink some boiling ghee, and then in your next birth you can become again a Hindu. This is nonsense. Why are they saying, oh, you know, they only threw some water on you. You're not, you're not a Muslim. But they're, they were considering he is Muslim. So the Hindus then, the Muslim is converting somebody by force, by sword, to become a Muslim. And then the Hindus would not accept those people back into the Hindu society. Because in Hindu, in Hindu and us, like us from Western countries, many people are thinking, you cannot become a Hindu. You have you are, have to be born as a Hindu. So this is one of the difference. You know, we're going like when we are preaching. We're going to North India. You know, to you know, U U P and and Delhi, many places. And there, people are acting very pious because they are vegetarians. Vegetarians, they worship Radha Krishna and all that. But and they give some honor to the Western devotees. But there, many people are not thinking that they are not thinking that the Western devotees are real because they are thinking nobody can become a Vaishnava. You have to be born as a Vaishnava. You have to be born in a Hindu family. They are not thinking like that. And they, even though they are vegetarian and worshiping Radha Krishna, they don't really accept so much. But in Bengal, in Bengal, where they are not vegetarian, they're eating fish. And the, but in Bengal, they are not thinking like that. In Bengal, many times the people who are not smart as the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they are thinking, oh, you're born in the West, but now you are, now you are worshiping Mahaprabhu, you are chanting Hare Krishna, then you are Gaudi, then you are Gaudiya Vaishnava. They are not thinking that the Westerners are not Vaishnavas. But in North India, where they are supposedly very pious and vegetarian and everything, they are not thinking that the Westerners are Vaishnavas. In that state, where the caste feeling is the lowest. In Bengal. In, in all over India. Bengal is the lowest caste feeling. Yeah. But still in Bengal, they are the lowest, 
but they are thinking, oh, these people are Vaishnavas. They are not saying they are not Vaishnavas, but in, no, in North no. India, they're giving some honor, but they are not thinking that no, the, they're, they're Vaishnavas. Um, we'll accept somebody, you know, they generally developing something, they will accept. Yeah, so then... We're in the line of Gaudiya Vaishnava. Gaudiya yeah, Vaishnava. so, so then, then, Ma, then Krishna Das Kaviraj says, he says, even somebody who looks like they are Vaishnava, but if they don't worship Mahaprabhu, they are a Sura. That's what Krishna Das Kaviraj <laughs> says. So, you know, so then, anyway. And, and you see that. They, sometimes in Bengal they cause some trouble, but if you start some Sankirtan, they all join in and everyone starts singing. So, you know, it's like different. Anyway, this Muslim governor, he was then. Finally, Mahaprabhu bade farewell to the Muslim governor. The intense ecstatic love exhibited by the governor cannot be described. Alukika Lila Kori Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes are all uncommon. Whoever listens to his activities becomes glorious and his life becomes perfect. Say no kachadi Prabhu Aila Panihati Navikere Paraila Nija Kripasati. The Lord finally reached Panihati and his and as an act of mercy, he gave the captain of the boat one of his personal garments. Prabhu Aila Boli Loke Hoila Kolahal Manusha Barilasab Kiba Jalastal. The place called Panihati was located on the bank of the Ganges. After hearing that Mahaprabhu had arrived, all kinds of men assembled both on land and on the water. Okay. So when we go to, when we, when we drive from Bengal to uh, Krishnanagar, and we are going on what they call high road, then I think we go near, we go near to Panihati, right? And then, I, yeah, and there's one place where, where the high road goes where is that town where Haridas Thakur was staying? Near. What is the name of that? Kulia. Huh? Kulia. Kulia. That is where Haridas Thakur was staying. Yes. Oh. Yeah, so there. We are going like that. Yeah. Nice. So Mahaprabhu come there. And Srila Sridhar Maharaj said when Mahaprabhu came back to Bengal, now it's, I don't know exactly how many years, it says two years, two years Mahaprabhu was in South India. Then he wanted to go to Vrindavan, but for two years Ramananda Roy and um, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya there causing some disturbance so Mahaprabhu cannot go. And they're telling him, oh, n now all the devotees are coming for Ratha Yatra, so now is not a good time to go. And then, then you go, you wait till Kartik. Then Mahaprabhu is waiting till Kartik, and they saying, oh, now, now is very cold to go to Vrindavan, very cold, so not, now is not a good time. You go in Do Yatra, holy time, or Ma, near Mahaprabhu's birth time. You go in Do Yatra. Then Mahaprabhu waiting for Do Yatra, and they say, oh, but now the devotees are coming again or soon they are coming, Bengali devotees will come for, for Rati Yatra. So, and two years passed and he's, they're making excuses. Finally, Mahaprabhu said, oh, for two years I wanted to go to Vrindavan, but you are playing tricks on me. So now you please give me permission to go. So then they told, okay. And this time they were serious, they said, but now it's coming, now is the, not a good time to travel because it is the rainy season. And just Chaturmasya. So you you wait for, you wait for the time of um, um, Vijay Dashami, and Vijay Dashami you could go. So then Vijay Dashami came and Mahaprabhu left, but he's going through Orissa, he's on foot and he's going through Orissa, so finally comes to Panihati. And when Mahaprabhu come to Bengal, maybe five six years going had gone by, five maybe. 
you know, maybe going on five years. And at that time, people, so many people come to Bengal that Gurmar says you could not see the Ganga, only you could see heads of people crossing the Ganga. So anyway, like this, many people come. Now Mahaprabhu come to Panihati, but I'm going to stop here today. Tomorrow we continue. It's okay. I cannot pronounce so proper, properly the Bengali. Uh, but yes, you have a question? What? We're going to have a Shabrai festival? Is it's all, it already passed. That time, that time already passed. Okay. The, the time on the calendar already passed a couple months ago. Well, I know, but in the book. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. no. No, this no, time. No, this no, time, no. not. This time, this time, not Shabrai festival. This time, go to Panihati, go see Raghava Pandit, then goes on to, um, goes on to the place of uh, the uh, Vidya Vajaspati's house in in um, Vidya Nagar he goes and then so many people are coming to see Mahaprabhu and then Mahaprabhu goes to from he goes from the he goes to Panihati to Vidya Vajaspati's house in in in, in Vidya Nagar and then he suddenly disappears and then he goes to he goes to uh, where we are he goes to uh, the yeah, but he goes to what is uh, uh, my mind. I'm forgetting everything. He, uh, Kolad Deep. He goes to Kolad Deep, and he forgives. Then he came to Ram also, no, on the way to what? He came to Ram also. Ram Kale, right? Yeah, but that's later. First he comes. First he goes to Vidya. Vidya Vachaspati's place in, in, in Vidyanagar, then he goes to uh, to uh, oh, yeah Koladanga and he goes there and then he goes to Ramaki and then then Sanata Goswami tells him oh you're traveling with too many people and he goes as far as Kanai Natashala. And then he turns back and he goes back to Shantipur and then he goes back to Puri. So this is called the Lord's attempt to go to Vrindavan. He's not successful on this attempt. And then he goes back to Jagannath Puri. Then he stays for some time, a little bit. And then he goes through the Jarikanda. He goes through Madhya Pradesh. He goes through the, he goes through the forest. You know, he goes to... Vrindavan. That time goes, and then from there goes from sometime in Vrindavan. Then he goes to, then he goes to um, Prayag, and then he goes to uh, Varanasi, and then he goes back through the jungle, back to Puri. So that time he is successful. And sometimes in Shaitanya Charitamrita, then later he tells the devotees from Bengal, after that he says, you don't come to Puri this year because I'm going to Vrindavan a second time. But I don't see anywhere in the Chaitanya Charitamrita where Mahaprabhu went a second time to Puri. Only he tried two times to go, but only one time he made it to Vrindavan. But I don't know. There are some things in the... Chaitanya Charitamrita not explained that and another time it says when they are traveling one time I think it says when traveling they meet Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya it says he is going it says he is going to on his way to Kashi but I don't but don't see anywhere besides that one place and I ask Govinda Maharaj what's it mean Sarvabhama Bhattacharya is going to Benares or going to, you know, the Varanasi. Then Guvinda Maharaj said, I don't know about that. It just says one line. The devotees met Sarvabhama when he is going to, to Varanasi. But it does, doesn't say anything about it. And in Bengal, we have that one highway. When you go on, when you go to the way of the, when you go through, uh, what is that? The, uh, uh, 
when you go through where they have um, place, what's the name of the place where they have mother's milk and all that, what, you go on the other bridge when we go through, when we go through, um, you know, the toll road, and when we go to, to, to Nabadi from Kolkata, and Hooghly, when we go through the Hooghly side, there it says this road, if you continue it says, uh, like, I don't know how many hundreds of kilometers to, to uh, Benares is written on the road. That road, which is considered the trunk road, Calcutta trunk road, is yeah, it? Trunk road. Yeah, it, it will go all the way to Benares. Yeah. It was built by the Muslim king, uh -huh. Yeah, and that road goes to, um, to the place of, um, um, Gauri Das Pandit, Kalna. That road goes through Hooghly and then goes to Kalna and then it goes goes to Nabadeep. Through goes to Kalna and then to um, um, wait, Ganga's Ganga. Um, what is that place? Samudragar. What? Samudragar. Samudragar. Yeah, it goes through Samudragar. Kalna and then Samudragar and then to Nabadeep. In Bengal, everything is Kali Nagar. <laughs> <laughs> Kolkata is, uh, that means Kali's toe. Uh, many years before, but many, some years I lived in Kolkata, and I like Kolkata. Kolkata is a nice place to live. It is like, it is city, now more contaminated, but it, it, was, it was very beautiful and ordinary people. Yeah, as a city, and, and it is not like a city, it is like many towns connected, many towns. I mean, it was the jewel of the British Empire when, when India, you know. Up till 1911. It was a beautiful city, you know, it is. And then we'll Just a little bit dirt over all the buildings. <laughs> And actually, I found uh, in England they don't have big churches. They don't what? They don't have big churches. Where in, in England? They didn't go to St Paul's Cathedral. But they, if they come to Calcutta, big churches, all built by British. Oh yeah, that is also like that in 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 yes. Guntur. Guntur full of many big churches. And the people in Guntur were saying, people in Guntur were saying to the devotees, they were saying. Before we're not giving so much, we're not having, in our culture, they said we're not having so much appreciation for Vaishnavas. We're not having much, in our family, we're not receiving Vaishnavas. But they said, now we have big, big churches in Gondor. So now we think you people have come from the West, so you have taken our culture. And there's, and the Christians spending so much money on churches. So now we are very happy to receive you. Because from you were from the West and you become Hindus, and, <laughs> and so they said, now we must receive you nicely because, you know, because they were saying churches coming building, they, Christians coming building big churches. But you were from Christian countries and you become Hindus. So. <laughs> we have not become Hindus, Maharaj. Well, they think that they are saying, well, why not? Why not? If they say. If they say you will become yeah, Hindus, well, of course we preach to them, but if they say you will become Hindus, we'll say, all right, we become Hindus, we're Gaudiya Vaishnavas, and you consider that Hindu, what's no yes, problem? No problem. No problem. Hariharaya Namah Krishna Janavaya
Rupanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai, Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunashi Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunashi Sad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Premzi Gosh Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadad Harshavasati Sri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat Ki Jai, Naradam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu ki jai, jai on Vishnu Pad, Vishvavarenya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Manaraj Prabhupada ki jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda ki jai, Srinabhadeep Dham ki jai, Srinam Mayapur ki jai, Saparshada Sri Nityananda Prabhu ki jai, Saparshada Sri Ma Prabhu ki jai, Sri Koladvip ki jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat ki jai, Sokel Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevasham ki jai, Ganga Devi ki jai, Tulasi Manarani ki jai, Bhakti Devi ki jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna, Go Gopi Govardhan, Sham Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju ki jai, Shri Purushottam Adam ki jai, Baladev Subhadra Jagannath Ju ki jai, Bhakti Vigna Vinasha, Shri Nishingadev ki jai, Bhakti Prabhara, Shri Prahlad Maharaj ki jai, Samaveda Bhakti Vrinda ki jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan ki jai, Shri Pad Bhakti Chandan Parvat Maharaj ki jai, Shri Pad Bhakti Nishkam uh, Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai, Shri Pai Bhakti uh, Vigyan Muni Maharaj Ki Jai, uh, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Gaur Premanande. Shri Pai Bhakti Maharaj Ki Jai.